Is there anything that can travel faster than the speed of light? Is it even possible for something to travel at light speed? What if something can actually travel faster than the speed of light? One of the most perplexing facts about our universe is that you can't travel faster than the speed of light. All of the special relativity's mind-bending behaviors stem from this single observation. But why is this the case? It's possible to get something to 1% the speed of light, but it would just take enormous energy. Could humans make something go even faster? Hey guys, welcome to the future space. Today in this video, we will tell you about the imagination of scientists that can travel faster than light. So stay with us till the end of this video, so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. Miguel Alcubierre, a physicist, proposed a radical technology that would allow faster than light travel in 1994. The warp drive, a hypothetical way to circumvent the universe's ultimate speed limit by bending the fabric of reality. It was an intriguing idea, and NASA had been working on it at the EagleWorks laboratory, but Alcubierre's proposal had insurmountable problems. A recent paper by physicists Alexei Bobrik and Gianni Martir from the United States has resolved many of those issues and generated a lot of buzzes. While Bobrik and Martir's work has significantly demystified warp technology, it appears that faster-than-light travel will remain out of reach for beings like us, at least for the time being. However, there is a silver lining. Warp technology may have far-reaching applications beyond space travel. Throughout the universe? The origins of warp drives can be traced back to Einstein's crowning achievement, general relativity. The equations of general relativity capture how space-time, the very fabric of reality, bends in response to the presence of matter and energy, explaining how matter and energy move. Two constraints on interstellar travel are imposed by general relativity. For starters, nothing can be accelerated faster than the speed of light, around 300,000 kilometers per second. Even at this breakneck speed, it would take us four years to reach Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our sun. Second, the clock on a spaceship traveling near the speed of light would slow down in comparison to an Earth clock. This is known as time dilation. Assuming a constant rate of acceleration, this allows for star travel. Within one's lifetime, one can travel to a distant star 150 light-years away. The catch is that more than 300 years will have passed on Earth by the time one returns. A science fiction future? Two recent papers, one by Alexei Bobrik and Gianni Martir, and the other by Eric Lentz, appear to bring warp drives closer to reality. Bobrik and Martir realized they could eliminate the need for negative energy by modifying space-time within the bubble in a specific way. This solution, however, does not result in a warp drive that can travel faster than the speed of light. Lentz, on his own, proposed a solution that does not require negative energy. He solved the equations of general relativity using a different geometric approach, and as a result, he discovered that a warp drive would not require negative energy. The bubble would be able to travel faster than the speed of light thanks to Lentz's solution. It is critical to emphasize that these fascinating developments are mathematical models. As a physicist, I will not fully trust models until we have experimental evidence. However, the science of warp drives is coming into focus. A new ray of hope. This is where Alcubierre enters the picture. He contends that the mathematics of general relativity allowed for warp bubbles, regions in which matter and energy were arranged in such a way that space-time was bent in front of the bubble and expanded to the rear in such a way that a flat area inside the bubble could travel faster than light. To get a sense of what flat means in this context, consider space-time as a rubber mat. In the presence of matter and energy, the mat curves. Think of putting a bowling ball on the mat. Gravity is simply the tendency of objects to roll into the dents made by things like stars and planets. A flat region is a section of the mat that has nothing on it. A similar drive would also avoid the unpleasant consequences of time dilation. One could possibly make a round trip into deep space and still be greeted by family and friends back home. An anomaly in space-time. How does Alcubierre's device function? Because math is so complex, the discussion frequently relies on analogies. Consider a rug with a cup on top of it. You're sitting on the rug, eager to get to the cup. You could walk across the rug or pull it toward you. The warp drive works by tugging on space-time to bring you closer to your destination. However, analogies have limitations. A warp drive does not actually drag your destination toward you. 
it shortens your path by contracting space-time. When you turn on the drive, there's less rug between you and the cup. While Alcubierre's suggestion is mathematically sound, it is difficult to grasp intuitively. All of that is about to change thanks to Bobrick and Martyr's work. Starship Mishaps According to Bobrick and Martyr, any warp drive must be a shell of material in constant motion enclosing a flat region of space-time. The shell's energy modifies the properties of the space-time region within it. This may not seem like much of a breakthrough, but it was previously unknown what warp drives were physical. Their research indicates that a warp drive is, surprisingly, similar to a car. A car is also an energy in the form of matter shell that encloses a flat region of space-time. The distinction is that getting into a vehicle does not cause you to age faster. That, however, is something a warp drive could do. Bobrick and Martyr use a simple description to show how to use Einstein's general relativity equations to find space-times that allow for matter and energy arrangements that act as warp bubbles. This provides us with a mathematical key for locating and categorizing warp technologies. Their work addresses one of the fundamental issues with warp drives. Alcubierre's device uses negative energy to balance the equations, but we have yet to discover any viable sources of negative energy in the real world. Worse, Alcubierre's device has massive negative energy requirements. According to some estimates, the entire known universe's energy would be required, though later work brings the number down a bit. Bobrick and Martyr demonstrate that a warp drive can be created using either positive energy, i.e. normal energy, or a combination of negative and positive energy. Nonetheless, the energy requirements would be enormous. If Bobrick and Martyr are correct, a warp drive is just like any other moving object. After all, it would be subject to the universal speed limit imposed by general relativity, and it would require some kind of conventional propulsion system to accelerate. The news continues to deteriorate. Many types of warp drive can only change the space-time inside in one way, by slowing down the passenger's clock in precisely the way that makes a trip into deep space difficult. Bobrick and Martyr demonstrate that some warp drives can travel faster than light, but only if they are created already traveling at that speed which is no help to any ordinary human hoping to do some interstellar travel. The Big Picture Remember that a warp drive has the ability to alter the region of flat space-time it encloses. It has the ability to speed up or slow down a clock inside the drive. Consider the implications of having such an object available. Do you want to put someone who has a terminal illness on hold? Put them in warp drive and slow down their clock. A few years will pass in their eyes, while a hundred years will pass on Earth. Enough time to find a cure. Do you want your crops to grow overnight? Put them in a warp drive to speed up the clock. You will have a few days and your seedlings will have a few weeks. There are even more exotic possibilities. By rotating space-time within a drive, one may be able to create a battery capable of storing massive amounts of energy. Faster than light travel is still a pipe dream. However, warp technology would be revolutionary in and of itself. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.